Hey boys and girls, I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. Uh, just making this video to let you guys know that next week we're going to start our next round of assignments. We're very, very excited because we're going to do a lot of fun activities uh, next week. Okay, uh, we have five activities for you guys for next week. We're going to be explaining them in this video. Uh, I'm first going to be explaining them in English and then I'm going to be explaining them in Spanish, okay? So, niños, este video es para informarles que va a comenzar la siguiente ronda de, de los assignments, del, del trabajo, que nosotros, los ejercicios que nosotros queremos que ustedes hagan en casa. So, en este video voy a explicarlo en inglés y luego lo voy a explicar en español, okay? So, I hope you guys are excited and I hope, I hope you're ready to have some fun. And we're back, boys and girls. So we're going to start with the first activity. We're going to make and I'm going to explain our first activity. And, and for Monday, and it's going to be ski ball. Ski ball, you guys have played when you guys go to Chuck E. Cheese's main event, Peter Piper. It's a really, really fun game, but now we're going to play here. At a okay, so we're going to go over our materials, okay? Uh, we're going to go over materials here. We're going to need three baskets or bowls, whatever you guys want to use at home, as long as a ball goes in there easily, okay? So we have, I have two classroom buckets, baskets or bins, and I have my son's A to B basket, okay? So that's, I already have three, you're gonna need three. So, and, for, and also, you're gonna need a ball, a ball. If you don't have a ball at home, boys and girls, uh, you can use socks, um, uh, you can use socks. Uh, trust me, these are really, really clean. They're not dirty, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna use my dog taco socks, okay? Uh, and I'm going to be modeling with both, okay? And lastly, you're going to need a ramp. Okay, you're going to be you're going to be needing a wrap so the ball can roll on okay uh, here my wrap was very easy to make I just cut a box that I had here at home you guys will be able to see it on the video and also sorry I forgot you're gonna need paper you can label your your the amount of points you're gonna be able to get on each basket or each bucket or bowl whatever you guys decide to use okay so let's build this okay Stay tuned. Okay, boys and girls so this is how it's going to look okay i have my ramp i have my three buckets they're labeled okay and i have my points for each bucket remember if you're in kinder to second you're gonna get one here kinder second your second one three points over here two third and fourth ten five and three okay so niños ya tengo aquí mi rampa okay tengo mis tres canastas y con los puntos si estás en kinder a segundo vas a agarrar un punto aquí Kinder a segundo, tres. Y de kinder a segundo aquí, dos. Ok, so, uno, dos, tres. Tercero y cuarto grado. La primera canasta va a ser tres puntos. La segunda, cinco. Y la última, diez. Ok. Alright, boys and girls. So, you're going to need some papers to keep track of all your points. Ok. Remember, you're going to have three chances. Ok. So, I'm going to put here my name. Put my name here. Coach Ramirez. Um, I'm going to have three opportunities three chances okay but before i do each one i have to do three jumping jacks okay three jumping jacks okay so here before i start number one three jumping jacks before number two three jumping jacks and number three three jumping jacks okay so niños van a tener que tener papel en mano para poner sus puntos que ustedes acumulen en papel. Van a tener tres oportunidades, una, dos, tres. Y cada vez que comiencen una, tienen que hacer tres jumping jacks, ¿ok? So ahora ya estamos listos para jugar. All right, boys and girls, so we're about to begin. We're about to begin, but before we begin our game, we have to let you guys know, if you guys don't have a ramp at home, you guys can underhand toss into your buckets, ¿ok? Si no tienen una rampa en la casa, ustedes pueden... Uh, hacer underhand toss, así como lo estamos en el gimnasio con una big bag o con las pelotas que tenemos, ok? Pero si tienen una rampa, good. If you guys have a ramp, good, we're good to go. So let's begin now, ok? Remember, before we start, we have to do three jumping jacks, ok? So now I did my three chances already, my three opportunities already, okay? So on my first try, I got three. My second one, I got one. And on my third one, I got three. So at the end, you guys are going to add them. You guys are going to be working on your math skills, okay? You guys are going to add them. 
and you guys are going to get a final score okay this is a very good game you guys want to compete against your your parents your siblings whoever you guys is a really really fun game okay so niños ustedes ya vieron que ya uh, comencé el juego así tres oportunidades Woo! i'm being active uh ya jugué la, el juego tres veces acuérdense tres jumper jacks antes de comenzar uh, van a, a escribir sus números los puntos que agarraron yo agarré tres en mi primer ronda en la segunda agarré un punto y en la tercera agarré tres y los voy a sumar vamos a estar practicando en nuestra matemática también ok y es muy importante si ustedes quieren jugar con sus padres con sus hermanos hermanos es un muy, es un juego muy muy divertido ok thank you guys now let's move on to activity number two is for tuesday we're gonna be tossing up a ball okay we're gonna be tossing up a ball or you rolled up socks up in the air but now we're not going to be using our hands. We're not going to toss them with our hands. We're going to toss them either with a shirt or with a towel. I recommend if you're playing by yourself uh, to use a shirt. And if you're playing with somebody else, you're playing with your parents or your siblings, to use a towel and you're going to stretch. Okay? You're going to stretch out the shirt or the towel so the ball can go up in the air. So today, I'm going to be using my shirt. Richie's shirt. Guidelines for success. Great. Okay. So, what do you guys want to use? The ball or the socks? You guys decide. It can be... It could be anything else, guys. You guys can choose whatever you guys want as long as it's not too heavy or something that it can break or something that you can break inside the home, okay? So I'm going to do my, I'm going to use my socks, okay? And if you drop it, you're going to do three jumping jacks, okay? So let's begin. All right. I'm going to put my socks in the middle. Get ready in the middle. And then I'm going to extend I'm going to extend so my socks can go up. Okay, voy a hacer una camisa y voy a poner mis calcetines o cualquier otro objeto en la casa por, por que no se quebre. Okay, algo que no se puede quebrar y lo voy a extender así y los calcetines van a ir para arriba y los vamos a agarrar. Si no los agarras con la camisa vas a tener que hacer three jumping jacks. Okay, let's start. Let's see. going to be doing this for one minute. Lo van a hacer por un minuto. Acuérdense, si lo tiran, van a hacer three jumping jacks. Three, uh, three jumping jacks si lo tiran en el piso. Okay. Acuérdense, pueden usar una pelota o calcetines. Okay. Now let's move on to our activity number three. So now our activity number three for Wednesday. For Wednesday, we're going to be growing our muscles. We're going to become stronger. So we're going to be curling things things at home, things that you can find at home that are not too heavy. So right now, I'm going to start with my son. He's going to help me model. So say hi, diles hi. Hi, there you go. So I'm going to begin curling, okay? Every item or object you guys find, here is gonna be my son. We're going to do five reps. You ready? Sí. Yes, ready? Sí. Are you ready? No. All right, okay. one, two, Three, four, five. Woo! Good job. So, niños, lo que vamos a hacer ahora vamos a hacer curls. Vamos, nos vamos a, nos vamos a volver más fuertes. Ahorita como vieron, hice curls con con mi hijo, con my son. Okay, diles hi, diles hi otra vez, diles hi. Okay. So we're gonna begin. We're gonna keep going. Activity is going to be for Thursday, okay? So this game is going to be called the relay race. And you're going to have a minute to do a relay, but before we begin with the relay, you're, you're going to need some, some objects, some items that we're gonna race with, okay? So you're gonna do I'm going to be doing it outdoors, outside. So I'm going to I have all these balls that I brought out. Okay, you can use any anything that you can carry, okay? It can be pillows, it can be stuffed animals, anything that you guys want. Okay, so I brought these out. Okay, and you're gonna need uh, somewhat of a big space, not too big. Okay, also you're gonna need some strips, strips of papers. Okay, I've cut about 20, 20 strips of paper. Okay, you're going to have them 
right here, right next to your station of items or objects that you're going to be uh, carrying, okay? Also, you're going to be needing two indicators, okay? Right here, I have two cones, okay, that you guys are going to be going around, okay? One cone over there, one over there, all right? So, niños, so ahora lo que vamos a hacer, vamos a jugar otro juego. Este es para jueves, nuestra actividad número cuatro. Ustedes van a ocupar unos objetos, unas cosas adentro o fuera de la casa que ustedes pueden sacar acá afuera, que ustedes pueden cargar, que no estén muy pesadas, okay? Make sure they're not too heavy, que no estén muy pesadas. Y también van a ocupar unos papelitos así cortados. Yo tengo como 20 papelitos así, ¿ok? Y ahorita les voy a explicar por qué tenemos los papelitos. Los papelitos no son para que se soplen así porque está caliente aquí afuera, ¿ok? También van a ocupar dos conos. Si no tienen conos, pueden usar otras cosas que ustedes quieran, pero que ustedes sepan que tienen que ir alrededor de esas cosas, ¿ok? Yo tengo conos, pueden poner lo que ustedes quieran, ¿ok? Are we ready? All right, guys. So now, you're going to have a minute. You're going to have a minute. You're going to start here. And when the minute, when the timer begins, when the timer starts, cuando comienza el tiempo, van a tener un minuto. You guys are going to run around. And when you guys do one lap, cuando hagan una vuelta, van a recoger un objeto. You guys are going to grab one item and pick up one strip. Okay? And you guys are going to go around again. Okay? When I come here, cuando llego otra vez, voy a escoger otro objeto. I'm going to pick up another object. And I'm going to pick up another strip of paper. Okay? And I'm going to run again. We are alrededor otra vez. If I drop, if I drop an object, si tiro una pelota o un objeto, lo que voy a hacer, voy a poner todo abajo, todo en el piso, I'm going to drop everything. And I'm going to do one quick frog jump. One, and I'm going to pick everything back up. And continue, voy a seguir, voy a agarrar otra pelota aquí, another little strip, and I'm going to run. Si se me cae algo, si se me cae una cosa, if I drop one, one ball, one item, I'll put everything down, one quick frog jump, and come back up, and you run. You keep going, you keep going. You guys got it? So now I'm going to do it. I'm going to get one minute on the clock, and I'm going to time myself. I'm going to see how many strips I can get in one minute. Ahora yo voy a jugar con yo mismo y voy a ver cuántos papelitos puedo agarrar en un minuto. You guys ready? All right, guys, let's start. All right, guys, you guys ready? One minute. Hey, Google, set a timer for one minute, please. All right, one minute, starting now. How many I got? Hey Google! Hey Google, stop! Woo! All right, so we're gonna count the amount of pieces we got. We're not gonna count the amount of objects we got, okay? But remember, if you drop one, since they got uno, vas a tener que hacer una frog jump. One frog jump if you drop one. All right, let's see how much how many Coach Ramirez got. Tied right, already. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Coach Ramirez got six. So I want to know how many you guys can get under one minute. All right, boys and girls, so for Friday, we want you guys to get come out. Come out, enjoy the day. I know Friday's for sure is going to be a beautiful day. You guys come out, uh, exercise. Uh, you either you can be riding your bikes, have family walks. We all we encourage you guys to do all that. And I hope to see you guys next week. Acuérdense, para el viernes, 
nuestra actividad va a ser que salgan afuera y jueguen. Este viernes va a ser un día muy bonito. Nosotros queremos, si tienen bicicleta, salgan en su bicicleta. Pueden ir a caminar con sus padres. As long as you guys are safe. Ok, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Gracias por ver este video. And stay active, guys. We miss you guys. Take care. Y nos vemos la siguiente semana. Bye.